Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Are you looking to buy a domain on AWS? In this guide, we will walk you throughout the steps to search for, purchase and manage a domain using AWS Route 53. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So guys, in this video, we will be going through this article which is made by the help center of AWS on Amazon. That's going to help us on doing, which is on doing the main topic of this video, which is register a domain name with Amazon Routes. So let's start with the overview. In this guide, you will register a new domain name for your web application. You will then connect that domain name throughout the domain name system DNS to a running web application fronted by an application load balancer ELB. Cost implications There is an annual fee to register a domain. The fee can range from $9 to several hundred dollars depending on the top level domain. This fee is not refundable. See the Amazon Rose 53 domain pricing documentation for full details. So let's check it and check all the actual pricings. As you can see here, you will find all different pricings. So you can check it by yourself or we can check it later on in this video. Now, when you register a domain, we automatically create a hosted zone that has the same name as the domain. You use the hosted zone to specify where you want Amazon Route 53 to route traffic for your domain. The fee for a hosted zone is 0 0.5 per month which is 0 0.5 per month you can delete the host zone if you want to avoid this charge see the amazon road 53 host zone pricing documentation for full details what you will accomplish in this guide you will learn how to register a new domain using amazon road 53 in ws aws console and update dns record to point to an existing application load balancer prerequisites or prerequisites before starting this guide, you will need an AWS account. If you don't have one already, you should create it. So let's start now. Implementation. Now register a domain, which is the first step. Open a browser and navigate to the AWS management console. As you can see, this is the website you have to register right here. Once you have logged in, ensure you have selected your desired region in the upper right hand corner as you can see in this picture this is the actual website and how it looks like and here you'll find the region uh, based on your infrastructure uh, requirements pro tip you can learn about the console throughout the getting started we don't really care about that then enter route 53 in the search bar and select route 53 to open the service console so you just simply have to type it right here in services and you will be able to find it and open it then choose the register domain button as you can see you will find here domain names and you will be able to have also the register domain button which is going to be right over here after you do that enter a desired domain name in the text box and choose an extension such as .com .net .org in the drop down list and choose the check button Choose the Add to Cart button next to the domain that you want to purchase. Then choose the Continue button at the bottom of the page. If the domain you choose is not available, choose one of the related domain suggestions or try again with a different domain name. This is an example. So here, you simply have to write it and you will have the, like the domain name and here you will have the extension. Now, once you open this drop down list, you will be able to check and see all different kind of prices for this extension and you can click on check to check if this website or domain name is actually available now then enter the registrant contacts detail for your domain choose the continue button on the bottom of the page as you can see here you have to go through this registrant contacts so you have to put a couple of informations about you such as contact type like are you a person or company individual or 
association or even governments uh, then put first name last name organization email uh, phone address country states postcode uh, zip code and so go on as you can see and then accept the privacy protection or not because they aren't gonna charge you for more and then verify your contact details so you can choose either enable uh, here as you can see uh, like enable or disable the auto renew so if you want this domain to be always yours you always want to have it as auto renewed and also on this page guys after you put your information you will be able to choose the term length the term length is basically how much do you want for how long do you want to have this website for for example i do want this domain to be mine for the next 10 years so you simply have to click on this uh, button right here drop down, drop down list and you can choose 10 years now the limit of the years is basically for most dns or for most domains is 10 years there can be some other ex uh, exceptions depending on which kind of domain you are going for which one which ex extension are you going for also then uh, if you want like after 10 years or after one year you want this domain to be renewed uh, automatically so no one else can actually take it from you then you can click right here on enable and in case you don't want that simply just disable it and you will have this option turned off after you do so you simply have to go to the bottom and click on i have read and agreed to the aws domain name registration agreements then click on complete order then now you have successfully bought your domain now about the domain and configuring it well it's pretty simple after domain registration is complete return to the aws console now for this step guys is basically talking about how can we connect our domain name for only a domain that has nothing that is no page for example something like that.com well basically this is an empty page how can we connect it to our website to our platform or to our application that we made and make it like have a real website here that we can interact with and all of that well it's pretty simple go after domain registration complete return to the aws console and search for route 53 again then go back to this page as you can see click on hosted zones after that you will find in hosted zones your domain so click on it and there you will be able to find your dns records and here you simply have to go to your platform that you have your website on or your application on and copy the records the records can be cname or a4 or a6 depending on the record that they give you you simply have to delete the already made records and add new ones wait a couple of minutes in case it doesn't work then wait 48 hours and then the website should be working successfully and that was pretty much it this is how you can buy a domain on aws thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial